Hi, so this is about the plus one blur check. Um, it's meant to determine if a young patient has any hyperopia that has been hiding in the background. And what happens is it's conducted at the end of an eye examination. So, you know, you're sitting there with your little googly eyed thing on uh, where he pops all the lenses in and you've got what you know whatever your prescription is going to be and then apparently what happens is that the optician will um, let me see he'll occlude the left eye so he'll, he'll put something over this eye and then he'll just pop a plus one lens in um, to see if you can still see through that eye. And if you can still see with the plus one lens in, then he adds another plus one and so on and so on and so on until you stop. And then he swaps eyes, covers the other eye puts a plus one lens in, repeats the procedure. Um, so this apparently is to check that there isn't any hyperopia hiding in the background because of over-focus, over-accommodation. And it does say young patients, and I find that interesting because this is the first I've heard of the blur test. I have never had it. Um, I have hyperopia, um, I've been for lots of eye examinations, it was never diagnosed, just by the one optician it was diagnosed. Um, now I think he didn't do the blur test because obviously he was testing for hyperopia in that examination so he was using plus lenses anyway, but apart from that I have never had um, this test done in any examinations um, and I've gone to a lot of them and said I think I might be long sighted. Um, how hard is it to try this examination? I think there is the assumption that um, you know you only young people maybe have flexible enough eyes that you know they would over accommodate and that might be disguising hyperopia um, well no that is actually not the case um, you know people well into adulthood uh, do over accommodate especially in these days where we've we've got you know more online stuff more um, small screen reading stuff that we have to do um, you get into the habit of doing it um, so I think this is a real mistake that opticians do not do this um, they should do it that is my opinion so yeah this is something i would never heard of before um, so if anyone was wondering about this um, and it helps you and yeah if you think your optician should be performing this test you should go and ask them do you do the blur check after an eye examination I know the guy that I saw just recently um, he didn't do it he relied on the auto refractor and that that was that so yeah I think if you've seen this uh, do pass this on to to your optician because I think this should be done on more people I think that would help yeah okay thank you for watching this video have a lovely night